Hey everyone, welcome back to another new exciting video. Finally, there is a cloud code alternative and its name is code buff and many people are using it and sharing their experience on Twitter. And that's why I thought to make a video on this code buff and I have also installed it uh, in my terminal and here you see that these are the comments and I have also made some agents in my current directory and if I show you that uh, these are the agents. So it will create this dot agents folder and inside this here you see CSS layout export agent, front end debug export agent, front end project manager agent and this react specialist performance optimizer agent, JavaScript developer agent, UI component builder agent. So in this way they will create some agents and for TypeScript also here you see uh, there are some tools and def agent definition that they will create. So how it will work I will uh, show you in this video. So first of all, I will keep uh, this link in description, this GitHub link. So go there and you will find this kind of repository. This is the interface. So here just come down below and uh, also they have given one image that uh, this code buff is beating cloud code and uh, they are scoring 61% and uh, cloud code where is 53%. Uh, okay, this is their one evaluation on uh, 175 plus coding task here you see and uh, after doing that evaluation they have found that code bub is scoring more than this plot code okay well uh, and also they have uh, given one example that how it works so when you ask code bub to uh, one task like simply add authentication to my api so it might invoke uh, this kind of agents so they have the multiple agents that I have already shown you. So you just uh, tell that um, you need one uh, requirement and CodeBub will decide that what agents it needs and it will automatically call that agents. Here you see this is the uh, uh, this is the image. CodeBub is at the center and around this CodeBub there is a reviewer, researcher, thinker, planner, file picker, agents. Okay. So this is a multi-agent approach that will give you the better context understanding, more accurate edits and fewer errors compared to single model tools. So in case of um, in case of plot code, there is a single model tool and but here in code buff, there is a multi-agent approach that they are seeing. Okay, now how to install this? So go to this GitHub repository, scroll down below and find this install and start coding and just uh, copy this command in pm install minus c a code buff it will install that globally so let me show you where you see i just did it and after that uh, go to your project and just run this code buff so i have already my existing project so inside this existing project uh, what i have done that uh, i have opened it on cmd terminal and after that i have just run this code buff okay so after running this command here you see that download complete it will download some of the necessary things it will do that setup and after that it will ask you to enter uh, to uh, it will ask you to press the enter because it will do some validation and uh, login authentication okay now it will give you one link so just open this link on browser and after that it will ask you to that to do that authentication uh, via github so here you see that continue with github just do that and after that you will see that authentication is successful and after that uh, you will get this kind of credits so if i show you that uh, you will get 500 free credits monthly here you see so each month it will be uh, revised okay and uh, this 500 free credits monthly then if you just um, uh, want more credit then you can pay this amount okay so this is not a free model mm, just 500 free credits are will be given to you in each month and after that if your credit gets lost uh, means if you have consumed all of your credits then you have to pay for this one and uh, for one credit okay i don't know what is this currency amount if you know please comment me below i just familiar with the dollar and rupees but i don't know what what this currency uh, means okay okay and uh, now let me show you that what experience i have got so here you see that when you will uh, just press this slash command then you will find this kind of slash functionalities like uh, they have various kind of good functionalities like the clot so first one is this init and then login logout and this div div is very much necessary means whatever the changes that you have done in your last 
uh, changed uh, that will be appear here by using this slash t and also they have this checkpoint uh, and you can restore to a specific checkpoint also you just have to write this slash checkpoint and that uh, specific id you have to give okay slash usage will give you that uh, that usage means the credit remaining so i have this 500 uh, credit now if i consume any credits then after that it will be also shown that uh, how many credits remain okay and this reset is there and uh, this compact replace the conversation history with a summary and freed up context so basically it will maintain that uh, context window limit now if i show you that uh, what are the features that they have given which is the different from the cloud code uh, and uh, let me show you that here you see code buff uh, versus cloud code they have written these things okay and, and and so okay this is the table here you see that they are saying they are saying that in both uh, this cloud code and code buff has this 200k to 1 million token context window but uh, in case of code buff here you see that they are saying that they are not charging more but in case of cloud code they have uh, more charging and uh, and uh, also here you see that this minimal interruption full feature sdk programmatic agent creation project template these are the feature they have okay so let's see and also the, if you go to this docs codebuff.com docs then you will find on the left hand side they have given some information if you read that then you will get some knowledge now let me take you to that terminal again and what i have done and uh, uh, here you see that by default they are using this cloud sonnet model okay and if you want to change your model then in that case here you will see uh, here you see that max max mode and uh, there is a normal mode so and also there is a light so if i show you what is this uh, 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 working with the large language model where is that so basically i have also learned from their uh, doc file that documentation okay you can also learn that so where is that i am keeping it transparent so that you can understand uh, that how can also how you can also find it here you see that what model do you use this is the section okay this is the section where is that what model do you use okay this one how do you see that uh, for the light it is using this Gemini 2.5 flash thinking instead of Sonnet okay and your cost also will get reduced so I have already shown you right how do you see this is the light light means the Gemini 2.5 flash and normal means the I think Sonnet uh, and yes normal means means the Sonnet max will use this uh, hybrid approach means the Gemini 2.5 pro plus Sonnet okay so for complex problem you can use this Gemini 2.5 Pro plus Sonnet and that will also charge more. You have to remember this thing and after that we have this slash agents. You can manage your custom agent template. So what I have done that I have just written code buff init agents and from where I have got this command. So I just found it from their GitHub repository. Here you see the custom agents creation code buff init agents. I have just written it. And when I press enter, I saw that it has automatically created some of the agents for me. I don't know how they have created because this was supposed to uh, create the custom agent. But here you see that it has created some agents automatically for me. These are the agents that you see. These are the, the, it has created this dot agent folder also and inside this. But you see that these agents are actually helpful uh, because this kind of uh, CSS layout export, React export, and this HTML export front end project manager. These are necessary for uh, building a successful project. And after that, here you see that it is showing uh, 87 credits used for this request. Okay. And after that, I have just asked it the slash usage. And here is this session usage 93 credits remaining 407. And the interesting thing is that, and I also got amazed. So here, till here, means uh, for this agent creation it was it, it charged only 87 credits but when i asked it this slash comments and this slash usage it goes from 87 to 93 how is that possible means only for asking this slash usage it will charge uh, this extra six credit 
this is not uh, means uh, i am not comfortable with this code bug uh, means i am also not getting the policy of code bug but uh, if you want to use it so here you see that uh, there are multiple process are there so working with large project is just uh, come down below and here also you will find that uh, they have given some prompts good bug based practices okay okay uh, 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 uh. okay so you can write these things that uh, so whatever the things that you want to do with this code buff you have to just write in this way that uh, suppose you want to generate some scripts just write code buff and inside this uh, inside this um, what you can say this quote quotation inside this quotation you just have to write a write a script to calculate the word blah 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 for documentation also first write code buff then inside this uh, quotation just write whatever your requirements okay in the same way how do you see same same things okay code review so if i just write that code buff please review my code okay so in this way it will do that things if i just go there and just paste it current changes and here is checkpoint to saved and it will think because it is implementing that cloud sonnet thinking and here you see that it will read all of that files html css and js maybe this code bug is best than uh, or you can say better than cloud code but but after using more and more it will be clear to us so for that i will request you also please try it on your different different project and observe the nature and observe the things that what it is doing all of the things and please comment down below in the comment section and here you see that um, it is based it is based man first uh, and here you see that 25 credit used for this request so it is consuming credits right and this is actually a huge number of credits for one request uh it is credit it, it it cost 25 credits and if the task is complex then it will cost more credits but that is not the factor the factor is that in case of cloud code uh, people are giving more money uh, and uh, here you see they have one policy which is the pay as you go means in case of cloud you are paying that 100 dollar or 200 dollar but code buff is charging pay as you go means uh if you want credit then or if you want to work then please pay okay this is great this is great the overall feedback it has given file specific feedback okay overall feedback and also this file specific feedback html css and js what uh, okay it has also given the best practices good good script.js code organization okay logic bug it has found on bug also okay okay completed Okay, great. The reverse provider strength and also please. Okay, better accessibility with more descriptive uh, all attributes for user images. Okay, okay, okay. So uh, I think that CodeBob is great, man. Um, in the first view, I thought that CodeBob is not great, but uh, uh, this is the thing that when you are using a uh, new things, a uh, new technology, then first of all, you will think that it is not um, uh, useful, but when you will work with that uh, technology, when you will be familiar, then you will understand the power of that new things. Okay. So I will give this uh, quote above a uh, best number out of 10, out of 10, I can say that uh, nine out of 10, you can use it instead of cloud code. It is, it is best. Okay. So uh, please share your experience also with me in the comment section and please don't forget to watch this rapid agent 3 uh, is it better than cursor or not i have just uh, made a honest review in this video so please watch that and please don't forget to subscribe this channel and don't forget to like this video also see you guys in the next video thanks for watching bye bye